Here's where we left that rotating barracuda. It's flopping around in a very non-circular way. Let's see if we can fix that. I want to rotate something that's a bit more circular, so I'll basically glue the barracuda on top of a circle. I'll call the whole thing a disc. Better spell image properly. Now the model that the world keeps updating is going to be a disk instead of a bar. Hmm, that's rotating more smoothly but too quickly. Let's see, on tick by default goes 28 times a second. Let's check every second only. Hmm, now it's too slow. It's moving one degree per second. This needs a more serious fix. First, I'll calculate what the speed of the second hand should be. It goes basically 360 degrees every 60 seconds. Now I need a function that rotates an image one second's worth of degrees. Here's how I expect it to work. Rotate second, might take disk, and then produce a new version of that image rotated by, well, one second's worth of degrees. Here's how I define it. I name the function rotate second. I have a placeholder called image. And now I say what I'm going to do to that image. Whoops, some extra parentheses there. I'm going to rotate it secondhand speed, number of degrees, that placeholder image. Now if I go down to Big Bang, instead of using rotate one every second, I'm going to use rotate second. Hmm, that's the right speed, but you know it's going counterclockwise. That's weird. So what I should do is I want the negative number of degrees, basically. So I multiply my speed by negative 1. Much better. This looks like a barracuda that could function as a second hand. Oops, there seems to have been a problem. wonder what that is. Scroll down. Better scroll down some more. It says that it doesn't match the actual value with the what I expected. Oh yeah, I was still expecting it to rotate the other way. So in my check expect, I've got to multiply by negative 1 also. There we go. It's rotating in the right direction at the right speed and all the tests pass.